Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about the generative storytelling AI Tome. I don't know if you've heard about Tome, but um, I like using it simply because it's very, very easy to use and it's all about storytelling. Well, not all about storytelling, but that's how I use it. Um, I wanted to basically share a story that um, was created on Tome for my students and I wanted to show you how, you know, great that turned out. So hopefully you'll be able to use Tome as well in your classes and with your students. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. This is the website for Tome. It's tome.app or tome.app. Please visit this website. They've done a really good job of explaining what they do and how you can fully benefit from using their services. This is also a QR code. So if you don't want to type in the, um, the link, then you can use the QR code. I'll also put the, the link in the description box below as well. Right, well, story time. All you have to do is go into Chrome, sorry, Tome, very similar names, go into Tome and tell Tome that you'd like to create a story. Tell it the type of story, where it's set, the characters involved and any other details you'd like to include. The AI then starts creating a story for you in seconds. Now, here are some good things about Tome. It illustrates your story or allows you to illustrate it yourself. For me, that's a really big benefit. I love beautifully illustrated stories. You essentially have a hand in the entire design of your story from pictures to fonts. So the AI isn't just generating pictures. You know, you also have a say in the type of picture you would like to be in your story. You can also upload pictures as well. Okay, now the very best thing about Tome for me is that you're able to narrate your story from page to page. If I make a mistake on one page, I don't have to start over from the, begin from the beginning. I can simply delete my recording and start again on the exact same page. Now that's a huge relief. Plus, Tom offers video narration, a definite bonus. So if you're using Tome as a storytelling tool, you might want your audience to see you. Um, you know, that can be just as effective as being in front of them, as being with them face to face. So that's something to consider. Now, this makes the voiceover process relatively stress-free, so you can fully enjoy the story you're narrating. And when you're done, it's just as simple to save and download or even share your story. So as I said before, or what I said before, the Tome experience is simple and straightforward. It's not entirely free, however, but you can do an awful lot with their free plan. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But before I do that, let me just say, that Tom also offers a help and support guide to get you started. And once again, it's pretty easy to use. So here's the link. I'll also put the link in the description box below. And I've also prepared a QR code. Here's the QR code. So please use your phones to scan that. Now, regarding the price plans, um, this is something you can find on the website, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, I use the free plan because I think the free plan is pretty good. Here's a closer look. According to Tome, it's free forever. Okay, and it's unlimited for individuals. 
so you can create as much as you want but there's limited creation for two or more people and you're given AI um, computer credits. So you've got 500 AI credits upon sign up. That's not too bad. Um, with my credits, I was able to create a handful of good, beautifully illustrated stories. Um, here's a story which was created for one of my AI classes. I tried, sorry, one of my AI classes, one of my A1 classes. I tried to personalize the story and made sure that it contained familiar elements that my class would recognize. I wanted my students to feel like the story was especially created for them. So I think that's one of the good things about using these AI tools. Um, the good thing is that you can always personalize stuff, customize stuff, make your students feel special and that's what we want, right? Anywho, before I share my story with you, let me say that one of the major drawbacks of using Tome is that there isn't an automatic slideshow. At the moment, you've got to move from slide to slide manually. Oh, and you even have to click on the narration on every page each time for it to play. Uh, it's not really a big deal, but I don't know, it kind of interrupts the story for me. Anyway, Tome is an excellent resource, so don't be put off by this. Okay, so here we go with my Tome story. If you haven't tried it already, I hope that this will inspire you to give it a go. Watch and enjoy. Until next time. Bye. The Adventures of Group 6, Guess What 4 at Tower English Academy. Here are the parts of the story. Once upon a time, the mystery of the missing book, following the clues, the new student, the treasure hunt, the end. Once upon a time, Tower English Academy in Esiha, Seville, Spain is a place where kids come to learn English and have fun. In this story, we meet seven children, Javi, Ariadne, Maria, Rafa, Natalia, Pablo and Gonzalo, who are all students at the Academy. Their English teacher Aisha is passionate about teaching and loves her students. She's always encouraging them to speak English and helps them improve their language skills. The kids also have a lovable dog named Max who often accompanies them on their adventures. One day, when the kids arrived at school, they noticed that one of their favorite books was missing from the library. It was a book about a magical land filled with talking animals and hidden treasures. The kids loved reading the book and were sad that it was gone. Determined to find the missing book, the kids decided to investigate. They searched the library, the classrooms, and even the playground, but couldn't find any clues. That's when they decided to ask their teacher, Asha, for help. Aisha listened to the kids and promised to help them solve the mystery. She asked them to retrace their steps and think about where they last saw the book. The kids remembered that they had borrowed the book a few days ago and returned it to the library. Aisha suggested that they check the library records to see who had borrowed the book after them. They found out that the book had been borrowed by a new student named Miguel. The kids were surprised as they had never seen Miguel before. The kids decided to look for Miguel and ask him about the missing book. 
They searched the school and finally found him in the playground. Miguel was shy and didn't speak much English, but he understood what the kids were asking. Miguel explained that he had borrowed the book because he loved reading about magical lands and talking animals. He promised to return the book the next day and apologized for not asking permission. The kids forgave him and welcomed him to the school. They even invited him to join their English club. The next day, when the kids arrived at school, they found a note from Miguel. The note said that he had hidden a surprise for them somewhere in the school and that they had to follow the clues to find it. Excited about the treasure hunt, the kids followed the clues which led them to different parts of the school. They solved puzzles, answered riddles, and even sang songs in English. Finally, they reached the end of the treasure hunt and found a chest filled with chocolate coins and a note from Miguel thanking them for being his friend. The kids were happy to have found the missing book and made a new friend. They learned that sometimes things go missing, but it's important to investigate and ask for help. They also realized that learning English can be fun and that they can make friends from all over the world. As the day came to an end, the kids said goodbye to each other and to their teacher, Aisha. They promised to come back to Tower English Academy and continue their adventures with Max by their side. The end. Okay, everybody, I hope that you've enjoyed this story. Bye. One last thing before we leave it forever. Why not try writing your own story? First, think of a story, then write it down. After you've written it down, read it, check it again, make sure that it's a story that you really love. After that, read it to a friend. Be creative and have fun. Remember, this is an English story, so you're writing in English. All the best. Bye.